Major General Sir Alan Henry Shafto Adair, 6th Baronet, the 3rd of November, 1897 to the 4th of August, 1988, was a remarkable figure in British military history, known for his exemplary service in both world wars. His dedication, valour, and leadership left an indelible mark on the British Army and the nation. Early Life and Education Adair was born in London, the only son of Sir Robert Shafto Adair, 5th Baronet, and Mary Bosenkay. His formative years were spent at Harrow School, where he received a comprehensive education that would serve as a foundation for his future military career. First World War Alan Adair's military journey began during the First World War when he joined the British Army, and received his commission as a probationary second lieutenant in the 5th Reserve. Battalion of the Grenadier Guards in May 1916. Remarkably, this regiment had historical significance for his family, as an ancestor had served with them during the Battle of Waterloo. Adair's wartime experiences were defined by his service on the Western Front, where he became a lieutenant in the 2nd Company, 3rd Battalion, Grenadier Guards. He participated in the pursuit of the retreating German army to the Hindenburg Line and later in the Battle of Paskendale. However, his active involvement was interrupted by an injury sustained in a bicycle accident in July 1917. Despite his injury, Adair displayed unwavering determination and courage. For his bravery and resourcefulness while commanding the support company, Adair was awarded his first military cross on 2 December 1918. The citation lauded his actions under heavy machine gun and rifle fire, where he captured objectives and thwarted a hostile counterattack. Promoted to captain and appointed officer commanding two company, Adair continued to distinguish himself. He received his second military cross on the 2nd of April, 1919, for his leadership during a successful capture of a hostile line, despite being wounded in the leg. Between the wars After the armistice, Adair's military career continued to flourish. He received his permanent lieutenant's commission in June 1920 followed by promotions to captain and major in subsequent years. Adair served as second-in-command in the 3rd Battalion until April 1940, seven months after the outbreak of the Second World War. Second World War During the Second World War, Adair's leadership skills came to the forefront. After a brief tenure as chief instructor at the 161 Infantry Officer Cadet Training Unit at Sandhurst, he was appointed commanding officer of the 3rd Battalion with the rank of acting lieutenant colonel. His battalion played a crucial role in the battles of Belgium and France, particularly during the Dunkirk evacuation. Major General Harold Franklin, the commander of the 5th Infantry Division, commended Adair's battalion for its efficiency and discipline during a vital counterattack, further highlighting Adair's exceptional leadership qualities. Adair was awarded the Distinguished Service Order for his services in Belgium and France. Adair's ascent continued as he was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel in September 1940. In October 1941, he assumed command of the 30th Independent Infantry Brigade, later redesignated the 6th Guards Armoured Brigade. Adair's leadership continued to shine throughout the war. General Officer Commanding Guards Armoured Division from September 1942 until December 1945, Major General Adair held the position of General Officer Commanding of the Guards Armoured Division. Under his guidance, this division played a vital role in numerous key operations, including Operation Goodwood, Operation Bluecoat, Operation Market Garden, and the Battle of the Reach Swald. The division's remarkable achievements, including the liberation of Brussels and the rapid advance through northern France, underscored Adair's strategic acumen and the effectiveness of his leadership. As the war drew to a close and the German surrender became a reality, Adair's division remained in occupation. However, on 12 June 1945, it was reconfigured into an infantry formation known as the Guards Division. Post-war and later life Major General Adair's service did not end with the war. He continued to serve as of the 13th Infantry Division, during the Civil War from December 1945 to November 1946, receiving further promotions during this time. In his later years, Adair remained active in various capacities, serving as Exxon in the Yeoman of the Guard, Governor of Harrow School, 
Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, and Deputy Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of Freemasons. He also contributed to his local community as Deputy Lieutenant for County Antrim, and as a Justice of the Peace for the County of Suffolk. Adair's personal life was marked by his marriage to Enid Violet Ida Ward and the birth of their children. Sadly, Lieutenant Desmond Allen Shafto Adair lost his life in action in Italy during World War II. Major General Sir Alan Henry Shafto Adair passed away on 4 August, 1988, at the age of 90. His legacy lives on in the annals of British military history, and his dedication and valour continue to inspire future generations of soldiers and leaders. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.